Before we reached Gretna Green and crossed the border into Scotland, we went to check out a small portion of Hadrian's Wall. However, we didn't stop for too long, as we had some miles to cover to get north of Glasgow. The weather was on our side. The sun was shining as we stopped at Loch Long to stretch our legs. After driving nearly 200 miles, we found it a little bit difficult to find a spot to stay that night. It was third time lucky. However, we eventually found a place with enough time left over to have dinner and do our chores. The next day we decided to explore our first Scottish location. We will be coming back to Oban when we catch our returning ferry after 10 days in the Outer Hebrides. We are not going to go to the beach because it's further than we thought and it's very windy down on the front so instead as you can hear we're out of breath we're going up and up and up and we're gonna find a place called McCaig's Tower. McCaig's Tower I'm not exactly sure what it is but you're leading the way so uh history lesson coming in a minute After a short walk out the town centre, we admired the tower. Built in 1897 by local banker John Stuart McKay to provide work for the local stonemasons and a lasting monument to the McKay family. What a great view of the town below, Oban Bay, the Atlantic Sea and the Isle of Mull in the distance. So that was McCaig's Tower. Um, fortunately, it's an absolutely stunning day. We've had two really good days of weather since we've been in Scotland. Um, wild raspberries. Wild raspberries take over. But um, one thing I'm concerned about is how out of breath we were just going up that uh, little walkway. And we're meant to be doing Ben Nevis tomorrow, which is the highest peak in Scotland. So look out for that. Highest peak of the UK as well, oh, actually, okay. is the one. 1,300 and something meters yeah true well, facts later on snowden was 1085 i think yeah quite easy to remember that number but that was good that was a nice walk but the weather was a bit of a killer so hopefully it's a bit cooler tomorrow but we shall see so we're going back to the van now to have some lunch um oban is a very touristy town um and we need to get out and get into a nice spot ready to do our climb and hike tomorrow Making a spot of lunch in the back of the van. It isn't as glamorous as uh, we once thought it might have been. Uh, with our strict budget, it's sandwiches and cup of soups today. When you moved out, your mother said, If you give love, you get love. Chef Meg's top tip, cut your sandwiches into party triangles and they look so much more appealing. So we don't think today's going to be a contender for one of our epic lunch stops. Now as much as the sandwiches look banging, the setting is not. But it's functional and the weather's nice, so what so, more could you want? Yeah, it's not all uh, beach fronts with the open doors and the sunsets. Sometimes it's a car park next to a sports centre. So that is us for this park up, just one night and a bit of the day and we're done. We're going to move on, heading more north, I think, are we? Mm -hmm. Towards Fort William and sort of near, or well, as close as we can get to Ben Nevis, I think. We want to we wanna definitely find a camp spot earlier than we did last night because it's not fun arriving, cooking and just going straight to bed. It was a bit of a... But, yeah, that's the way it is sometimes. We need to chill out and start rushing around. Yeah. We're going to enjoy the weather today again. I know we said multiple times, but it's actually really nice. I've actually got shorts on, so you might be able to see my little pale legs. <laughs> oh my giddy ass. <laughs> they definitely require some work. That's a treat for you. Yeah, and hopefully uh, they will tan up slowly as the videos progress. Let's keep an eye on that. <laughs> All right, Meg's in the hot seat as she has been the last couple days to be fair. Well, I've done a little bit on the laptop 
etc. So it works, doesn't it? It does for the most part. I like driving, and you've got important things to do. Yeah. Look at look at the light. Is that the sun? Of course. And we've got like a little disco ball going on. <laughs> but yeah, um, that is us for now. We might film a bit of a drive. I'm sure the scenery is going to be amazing because. Everything we've seen so far has been fantastic. Every corner, you don't know what you're going to see, whether it's another huge lock or it's some sort of mountainous, hilly range. Yeah, and uh, we can pretty much say, roll the drone shots right now from our trip over. Yeah. Almost certain. I can feel it in my waters. <laughs> So after another hour or so on the road, as you saw in beautiful scenery, which makes it a bit easier, we've arrived at our destination after we finally got the right coordinates. Yes, we are at the foot of Ben Nevis. Nevis? <laughs> There's Glen. <clears throat> uh? Ben Nevis in Glen Nevis. Let's start again. So we are at the foot of Ben Nevis. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Ben Nevis. So we are at the foot of Ben Nevis in Glen Nevis. <laughs> Nevis. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I'm tired. So we are camping at the foot of Ben Nevis in Glen Nevis. <laughs> and yeah. we are at the um, car park that was made to film the Braveheart movie. Yeah. With all the film vehicles. Yeah, apparently so. I thought it was a peculiar name when we typed into the sat nav, and this is the Braveheart car park at Glen Nevis. Yeah, 1995 okay. film. I've done the research and I've made lunch, so as long as we've got lunch, I can do anything with lunch. <laughs> That's it. We're going to well, luckily we can start our walk directly from here. It's a bit of a short walk, I think, back along the main road, but then we soon find the path. So we're hoping to get an early start, I think, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Maybe, are we staying here again? We can do, see how we feel tomorrow night. See how we feel. What a glorious weather to do Ben Nevis. Who'd have thunk it? So we've just left our camping spot and we are making our way, hopefully, to the beginning of the trail that'll take us up Ben Nevis. And it's about nine o'clock in the morning, beautiful start to the day as you can see. And hopefully we shall return conquering heroes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> hopefully. been going for two and a half hours just over we have no real clue if we're halfway or not I really do hope so lake in the background and I can confirm that it is a lot harder than Snowden we have been walking up quite steep rocky paths and we have to stop every I want to say ten minutes but it's probably five <laughs> <sighs> Finally the summit was in sight, the views were unbelievable and you could see for miles. Here we had yet another epic lunch spot, very close to the edge. We 
touch the trig point to secure our achievement. Uh, we've made it to the top. I am very tired. Oh, that's my mum. Proper 4G on top of here. <laughs> At least four bars. Can you believe it? And we did. We've just had lunch. We've had a sit down. We had a few, quite a few stops on the way. But we are currently on six hours and nine minutes somehow. <laughs> yeah, wow. that was a lot harder than Snowden. And it's taken that long. It's a couple of times I thought, why am I doing this? But the views from the top are worth it. Yeah, I'm glad we've done it now. You tick it off on the list. I ain't doing another one. We weren't really intending to do this, but after we did Snowden, we thought, well, if we do Ben Nevis, and at some point if we do Scarful Pike, Scarful, Scarful Pike, uh, then we've done the three highest peaks in Britain, so maybe. Oh. I've got a bit of vertigo having lunch, I must be honest. Another awesome spot, but. Incredibly scary near the edge. It's been a long time coming down. Managed to find a short, well, a bit of a shortcut. But the sun and the heat down here is exhausting. If we aren't incredibly burnt, I would be surprised. But I can feel some areas of my face and neck I definitely feel as if they've had too much sun. As we were coming up, one of the locals said that you couldn't have picked a better day and he goes, you'll be waiting a long time um, for another day like this in Scotland. So we are extremely lucky and we can't whinge too much. Well, we're finally at the bottom and on flat ground. We've just got to make our way back to the car park and pray that the van is still there in one piece and not absolutely boiling hot. You see little Meg is behind me somewhere. <laughs> Suffering from the heat. How was that? Oh, my foot's twitching without asking it to. <sighs> Tricky. <laughs> so, we're finally back in the Forestry Commission land that we are parked in somewhere. We've got to get back to the Braveheart car park that we showed you earlier, yesterday, at some point. We hope we're going the right way because we are both absolutely shattered. <laughs> it's taken us a little over nine hours from start to finish. Uh, yes, we weren't going particularly quick. We had a few breaks on the way up, but damn, that's been a long day. <laughs> I've had enough of my rocks. <laughs> well, well worth it for the views, oh, must yeah. say that. Isn't it? Yeah. Meg loved it. I loved it. Every single minute. <sighs> Get me home. And I hope it's cool in the van. I hope the... I hope the co Coca-Cola's cold. <laughs> Do you want the salad? So we have um <laughs> We successfully made it back to the van and everything was okay. Apparently the temperature in here, according to our little carbon monoxide alarm, was 31, 32 degrees. So not as cool as we'd hoped. And unfortunately we have no aircon or anything that fancy. As you can see, Meg's pretty much passed out from today's activities and I'm about to do the same. We are both very, very tired. What's your Yeah. Um, I think the camera can pick up kind of like how red your face is. <laughs> I think Meg has found her resting spot now. This is where she will remain. <laughs> so I need to make a decision. Um, I need to make a quick decision about tea, other, otherwise Meg's going to lose it. She's on the edge at the minute, I think. Um, so that is us for today and our Ben Nervous experience. 
I think we might take the next day off filming because we're going to head towards Sky, I think, aren't we? Yeah. So we make our way there, try and enjoy the weather and probably not film much to be honest because it's going to be a bit of driving and eating and stopping over for a few minutes here and there. Unless anything amazing happens, then we shall see you then. But if not, we will see you somewhere around the Isle of Sky. Is that right? So please join us in the soggy Isle of Sky on our next episode. Like, subscribe and share and comment if you like what you're seeing.